Good morning everybody and hello again and welcome to my humble abode. Today I'd like to show you some a few things uh, that I've uh, learned. One of these things I've learned from somebody called Androjaya Michinaga, I think is how it's pronounced. What she said is that you can hit oh I'll have to watch out there. What a spider that With this industrial hemp, if you just hit the top of it, it just takes the, some industrial hemp and some, oh, oh. sorts him out as well. Is there anybody else around? There's a few spiders and a, oh yes, and a skeleton. Right. You can also right click on um, carrots and other things that I just, maybe I probably shouldn't use that as a as a right clicking device. It's just a bit like, and the industrial hemp is a bit like canes, you just hit the top of them and it just takes a top off. There's another spider over there, let's just get him as well, I think. Oops, put it on the jetpack. Oh, there he is. When I was preparing, they were making a lot of noise. But one of the things that was trying to do with this hemp farm here what was happening that was chest is empty at the moment but it was filling up with seeds because the seeds aren't allowed to go through this um, this item duct to the um, to the tesseract and then down again so what I then did is I've added this extra block in uh, some buildcraft pipes and here I have a, an item gate and it says inventory full and it then activates a, red si a redstone signal. The redstone signal turns on this motor and what happens is it empties one of these compartments which is great. The only trouble is if the tesseract is off it doesn't work completely well. So what I was trying to do was to find out whether or not I could set up a, another gate to see if the tesseract is off but I didn't find any properties to indicate that the tesseract is it just inventory empty but of course everything was space and inventory everything was showing that you could do something uh -oh, here we go of course it's daytime so spiders don't normally attack the other thing I was going to show you let's probably just do a quick way down to the workshop what I've done is I've built another floor below, actually below the um, I'll turn this off again, uh, below the um, uh, immersive engineering floor. Here, what I wanted to demonstrate is uh, a way to split up items. So let me show you what I'm talking about. In my uh, let's get rid of some of these things. I've got too much rubbish on from getting all those. Uh, we're doing all that harvesting. So I don't need any of these really. Right, that'll do. So in my bag of holding here I've got some item ducts, some chests and some servos. And I think that'll do for what I need to demonstrate, yes. So what I'd like to do is to be able to take, oh I need another, no I don't, I need, I was thinking I need another chest but I don't. Was to be able to split up items and say if I got two chests here, and what I wanted to do was to split up items so that they were um, divided, say five eighths in one, I can turn these chests around if they don't work quite as well as I was expecting, in one shape chest and then three eighths and the other how many have I got here it's eight I think yes and we'll put one in the middle here at the front and of course we can turn these round easily enough with the crescent hammer simply right click I think I'd right click on the top actually yes another one over here if I can reach it yes I can good so what I thought about doing is this so I had a some item ducts between here and these chests like this I 
and then one more here and then we'll put a, in this case what it needs is a reinforced server it's the lowest of the ones we need for this particular purpose here so I put this on here and on here I'm going to set the set size down to um, one one and also what I want to do is change the nearest first furthest to to round robin and then what I intend to do is to put feed five of these chests into one of these and the other one into the other one so if I put three down there have I got enough item ducks no I haven't I think I'll make some more item ducks so actually let's put this chest right behind those two So, so I need some more item ducks and I don't need any more servers, I've got plenty of servers for this. At least I counted those correctly. What we'll do is we'll just simply turn these on. Might be a better way of doing this. But right, quickly go up to the workshop and then the uh, yeah, best way is probably through the elevator. So we need some more item ducks. Item ducks are fairly straightforward to make. I think it's simply um, two hard, one hardened glass and two pieces of sil uh, silver. Ah, uh, tin. So I'll make another 12, I think. Tin ingots I should also have, yes. Also do, of course, this will take something to distribute. Let's take some cobblestone, a couple of stacks of cobblestone, or four. Try to go the right way, and I'll put the cobblestone straight away in this chest, even though I don't need it. And I did that with control space and left click, and that moves everything of that type into the chest. So to the demonstration, move that out of the way, I don't need that in the way at the moment, but I'd better put it somewhere else because it's... Now what I will find is when I put this one down here, it'll join onto that, which is not what we want, but if I just take the crescent hammer here and simply right click that, it, just, it turns it off. If I want to put it back again, I just right click it again on the end here. Okay, so I can then put another item do down here and then that'll feed in so of course now what I've got to do of course is put the servos down here let's put the servos down here I don't think I can right click them turn them on but we can just do it this way let's try again torch down there right so now I need another torch I should have one in my knapsack I hope yes plenty I'll do the lighting in here later on so now we've got 64 in this uh, reinforced servo it will send things in a round robin basis so it should go to every chest one at a time and a light a size of one so you could of course change that turn it on and we should see this coming out going into these chests here as you can see seems to be working quite nicely and then you'll see when it's finished we've got five in here nine in here so we should expect to see i did i probably should get some more stacks and come back later on shouldn't i if i got eight 
eight stacks. No, I did four stacks, didn't I? That was, should, be, should be perfect. Because with four stacks, we should get. I'm not quite sure. Five eighths of four. So we should get uh, 32. Oh, there's some mobs out there. In one. I'm too far away to reach that one. 34. It'll take a while. Of course, you could change the size here. You don't have to have it as one on this on this item filter here. You could just shake, make it two, and then we go out two at a time, round robin. Right. Let's just leave that to work, and I'll show the other thing that I've been working on hard, which to try to make the U matter go faster. And I think. The core is nearly very is very nearly finished. It was on its last uh, row. So what I did here is I've increased the number of igneous extruders, and also added an extra overclocker in here. So it's just about keeping up with the, the rate that they're coming in. Because what I was finding is it's still not really getting enough recycled material in here to keep this running 100%. But I suppose in the last half an hour I've got another 20 millibuckets, which is quite good. And if I actually let's go the quick way to the workshop. And in here, I've been working on the on the ingredients required for the. Uh, is it? Varger. So here we have uh, the different components, iron plates and carbon plates and electronic crystals and here we have this it's quite complicated tesseract tessel coil which wasn't too difficult, the high voltage transformer is not too difficult, super semiconductors are made from like this and it gives you three so that will actually only need one of those so this one here will make a, a, a reinforced iridium plate and I have enough for another one which then gives me enough to make this which I think then makes these three and eventually this will be the, the last component here we should see it all working I probably need to make a, a charger for that as well I need probably a high voltage charger to charge it all up Right, hopefully, go down and have a look and if this is still working away. Still working away on the last 25. Let's see how it's doing. As you see, I do expect to have 96 in here. Two and a half stacks in here, is that correct? I can't do the math at the moment, I should have done it before I started, shouldn't I? Is it finished? Yes. So, yep, that's two and a half stacks. And here's one and a half stacks. So that's, I reckon that's five, three eighths. And that's the five eighths. So there you are. This was really intended to do, show you how you could do some splitting up things for automation purposes. So until next time, hopefully we shall be able to build that Vajra device. Bye for now.